Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Ann Cruz, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel. So guys, I'm now back from my YouTube break and I'm really happy to be back. I'm so thankful that you guys are still with me, you guys are still subscribed to my channel. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me on Instagram when I'm going to be coming back and uh, a lot of things happened last month that I don't really want to talk about but I'm now back. Yeah girl, I'm back. So anyways, it is the first day of February 2018 and it is going to be Valentine's Day very soon. So I might be uploading a lot of like Valentine's Day makeup looks and things like that. So anyway, if you want to look good on Valentine's Day, if you have a man, if you have a bae, if you want to look good for him or her, or if you're single and you just want to look good on Valentine's Day, to attract a man then you can use this makeup look I have a lot of pinkish undertones since Valentine's Day is the month of pink red white decorations roses cupids and things like that I really wanted to focus it on pink this is a very easy look to recreate all the products will be listed down below and also by the way I might forget this later so I'm gonna insert it now I'm doing an Instagram giveaway with my two good friends Sky Zia and Christian Laisi here on YouTube. We are doing an Instagram giveaway just to give back to our subscribers and followers for still supporting us even if we don't really upload daily and things like that. We are just really thankful for you guys who are watching us, who are liking our videos and things like that, who are sending us positive vibes. To the haters out there, still thank you so much for giving us motivation to do even a better job. So anyway, you can visit my Instagram. The links will be down below. My social media handler will be down below and you can visit my second recent post I think that was um, all the rules and uh, this like how to enter the giveaway is on the picture like on the description so just visit that picture and yeah I guess I hope you guys join the giveaway it's gonna be ending very soon so you still have time to join the giveaway so anyways enough babbling right now I think you just you guys want to see the video already so anyway if you want to know how to get this makeup look then please keep on watching so to start things off I'm gonna be using this Smashbox photo finish primer water to prep my skin for foundation and then since I'm bougie I want to add another extra layer of primer so I'm using the LA girl pro prep HD primer and applying that all on the areas where I have large pores which is just around the nose and the t-zone area and then for foundation, I'm using the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. This is, I believe, in the shade 310. And I'm just going to be applying a decent amount all over my face. And I'm going to be using a beauty blender to blend everything out. So then, it is 2018, yes, but this is still my favorite concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. And I'm applying this to the areas like the under eyes, the chin area, the forehead, and also on the bridge of my nose. So then for cream contouring, again from the Fit Me line of Maybelline, I'm going to be applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, the temples on my forehead, the jawline area, and also to slim down my Filipino nose. Uh, I'm going to put that on the edges of my nose, and then I'm going to blend it all out with the same beauty blender, starting with the highlighted areas. So to blend the contour, I switched to a brush because I feel that it is easier and better to blend the contour with a brush. And after that, we're going to be moving on to baking. To bake my face, I'm going to be using the Nichido Final Powder in the shade Creamy Glow. And I'm applying that to the areas where I apply the concealer. And then after that, I'm going to give it time to, you know, set and bake the face. And then after that, we're going to brush everything out. 
Okay, so I left the under eyes baking for a little bit so it can catch the eyeshadow fallout if there is. So I'm using this Pixie and It's Judy Time Collaboration Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade on the top right, which is the shade called It's Mommy's Life. And I'm applying this to the crease area as our transition shade. And then over that, I'm going to be taking the shade called Honey Bear, which is one of my favorite shades from the palette. Palette. And again, I'm gonna be topping that all over the um, first color that we applied to add a little bit more shadow in our crease area. And then after that, I'm gonna be taking the shade called Tutu. I'm honestly confused with the names right now. So I'm gonna be focusing this color on the outer V of the eye just to add a little bit of dimension and to give us that dome. I don't know what you call it, shape in the eye. And then I'm going to be taking the dark brown shade called Oh Snap. And I'm going to be focusing this area near the lash line and again on the outer V of the eye. And I'm also going to be bringing it to the center of the lid to have a kind of like smoky brown effect. And then I'm going to be taking the shade called Night Night which is just a black sparkly shade. And I'm applying that to the center of the eye to add a little bit of smokiness and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight and going to be taking this shade right here. And then I'm going to be applying this all over the area where I apply the dark shades, which is the center of the eyelid. And what I did is I took Fix Plus and I sprayed the brush a little bit to have more pigment in the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to be taking this shade called Snowflake and I'm applying that to the inner corners of our eye just to brighten that area. And then I'm going to brush out the under eyes and remove all the powder. Taking the shade Tutu again, I'm going to be placing this on the waterline of the eye. And then moving on to contour, powder contouring, I'm going to be using this Essence Face Palette and taking this contour shade and setting the areas where I cream contoured earlier. So for the brows, I'm going to be taking the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade number 4. So I'm going to be doing this off camera because I can't do it on camera for you guys. So next, I'm going to be taking the H&M Brow Shaping Gel. It's just a clear gel to set the eyebrows in place so they don't move during the day. Then for the blush, I'm going to be using the color Soft Russet from the H&M Cosmetics line. And I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and I really love this color by the way. Then for highlight, I'm going to be taking the same Fenty Beauty highlight we used earlier and combining both colors and I'm applying that to my cheekbone area and the tip of my nose. Then for more highlight, I'm going to be using this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and just adding it over the Fenty Beauty highlight. Then I'm going to be setting the powders with the Max Fix Plus. And then to finish the whole look together, I'm going to be taking this Giorgio Armani liquid lipstick. And yeah, we are done with the look. watching the video if you like this video then please give this video a big thumbs up and also comment down below if you have any other video suggestions you can follow me on my social media handlers which will be down below or just somewhere around the screen so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this makeup look I want to see if you recreated this makeup look just tag me on Instagram on Twitter on Facebook and things like that and I will be happy to see it so yeah, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!